Hey guys, Samantha Wall coming to you from SamanthaSWall.com. Um, I have been going through a, I'm in a 30-day meditation challenge right now, and today is day 10. So I wanted to share with you what it is that I'm doing and how my progress is. I think I'm going to do this on day 10, day 20, and day 30. Um, just to kind of show you my progress of what's happening because I am no meditation pro. I am trying to um, develop this as a habit into my life so that I can um, just add to my personal development and really take control of my mind and make sure that I am in control of my emotions and things like that. So um, today's day 10, so I wanted to kind of explain to you what I've been going through in the last 10 days. Um, meditation, I think, is a little bit difficult. Um, I think no matter what, just our life is, you know, we're taught to um, basically to constantly be going and be busy and just sit and do nothing is bad. At least that was, you know, the way I was raised and um, it was a constant go, 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 go. Uh, so it's been difficult for me. I've never tried this. I mean, I tried it for a little bit before, but got off track. So that's why I um, started this challenge. And there's about 50 of us in the challenge and we're all going through it together just to support each other and things like that. So it's been a lot of fun, but I wanted to bring it to you today as far as um, how how, how's it been going since for the first 10 days? So here you go. Um, I'm doing one where it's 20 minutes and I basically sit and focus on my breathing and be aware of the fact that any thought that goes through my head is just a thought and it's not me um, developing that thought and just kind of making those um, new connections as far as in my brain goes, um, as far as, you know, knowing that it's just a thought from my crazy drunken monkey stung by a scorpion. That is what the Buddhists say that happens in your brain, is that you basically have a crazy drunken monkey stung by a scorpion running around in your brain, and you want to get a hold of that. So um, my monkey has been doing a lot of chattering. He or she does a lot of chattering um, through meditation. Um, over the When I first started, I set an alarm on my phone for 20 minutes so that um, I know when my 20 minutes is up and hopefully at some point in time I'll get past that. Uh, but I do get up early in the morning so my family's still sleeping. Um, so the first few days was tough. I did check my phone a lot, which through the strategy that I'm using, I'm supposed to stay still. So I did check my phone and, you know, kind of see where I'm at. In the first couple of days, I was checking my phone probably at like 16 minutes. So I had only gone like four minutes before I was already like, oh, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Um, through the through the next few days, it got a little bit longer. Um, today, I actually went until 13 minutes before checking my phone. And this is... Um, this is just something that I'm doing. Um, I'm not sure if it's right or wrong, but I think in the meditation process that just being able to get into the habit of um, sitting with yourself for 20 minutes and trying to only concentrate on breathing. Um, so for me, I like I, I, I allow myself to look at the phone because I want to know how far I've come. And I think in 10 days to be able to sit for 16 minutes without checking my phone is a pretty big accomplishment considering on day one, I was literally like three or four minutes into it. And I was like, oh, uh, are we done yet? You know, so I think that that's a huge accomplishment so far in the first 10 days. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, that's pretty much where we're at as far as meditation. I definitely feel like during the day, um, you know, the Buddhists say that you can meditate at any time during the day, especially once you start getting control of your mind and your breathing. And um, I definitely during the day will find myself just, you know, I just talk to my crazy monkey. I mean, literally I'll say, hey, monkey, let's breathe. And my monkey goes, okay let's breathe. And my mind kind of goes blank for a little bit, which is a very nice thing. <laughs> um, so 
if you want any um, information on meditation or to get in this challenge, it's, you know, we'll have the link and you can jump in the challenge. It's super fun. Uh, I'm going to do a blog post on day 10, which is today, and I'm going to do a blog post on day 20 and a blog post on day 30 to show you kind of where I'm at and my struggles because I'm going to have struggles. You know, I mean, if I through the little bit of training that I have had on meditation, I do know that it, you know, it takes time and it's not, you know, something that you just get overnight and you're able to sit for 20 minutes or whatever. So um, I'm leaning it with myself. I just want to get in the habit of it and uh, definitely bring it in considering, you know, most successful people are meditating for hours a day. So um, it's something that I definitely want to incorporate into my daily life. So that is my story for day 10 of the meditation challenge. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will chat with you soon. Bye.